Cheers! Happy anniversary! Thank you, babe! It's the most like platonic. Most platonic dating, dating experience, experience I've ever had. Hi, we're taking it slow. Hi guys, it's me P, and I'm here with my lovely girlfriend. I'm uh per I mean Persis? Roommate? Sarah. <laughs> we're so excited because we reacted to a bunch of Fletcher videos last month. Mm -hmm. And we've just been really happy with like seeing the reception of it and you guys seem really excited about it. So we're back with some new videos that Fletcher came out with. Let's look through some of the comments of this video. Okay. <laughs> Help humanity. She does not seem straight. Sarah, how do you feel about that? Honestly, let's debate. Comment below, am I straight or not? The title says straight, but who's really to say, right? It's a spectrum, so let me know what you think. Exactly. We also really liked this comment from smileyface702. Yeah. Oh, I love the dynamic between you two. You're lucky you can be so open about your sexuality with a straight girl. I've always been really open with Sarah about my sexuality probably since the day we moved in together. And I'm yeah. actually curious to know if you guys ever feel, if you have a straight friend, like, are you comfortable opening up to them? Like. I'd, I'd like to know that because I feel like right away with you, with barely even knowing you, I kind of opened up to you about a person I liked. Mm -hmm. Maybe the first week. And I don't think you, you didn't think anything of it, did you? No. But this comment makes me feel like maybe you don't have straight friends that you can open up to. Mm -hmm. Send us a message. Yeah. Anytime you want. Thank you for making this Please Do More. That's our plan. And we're doing it right now. And we're doing it right now. Haley Taurus. Oh, Lena says she already kind of ships Fletch and Persis. They would be so cute. I already like you, Persis, even the fact that this is the first video I see from you. Lena Belgium. You know How do you feel about that? The fact, I know, the fact Speechless. that I've never been shipped with someone before. So you know what, Lena, that makes me really excited that you ship me. You've been shipped with me. But that makes me really excited, thank you. And hopefully Fletcher sees this and wants to date me. Ooh, there's another side. Ooh! There's another, another side. side. Whoa. Whoa. The makeup is It's perfect. sending me. Sounds like she's saying saving 2020. I mean, someone's got to at this point. I always love her outfits. Fletcher has good style. Who uh, who directed this? So Shannon shot shot this and directed it. This kind of gives me like old school Britney, old school Christina of the look. Her hair is straight, is fun. But I like her curly hair. This is my favorite part of the song. She looks like she's having so much fun. I really like that. And she's also like owning it a little bit, right? Like a little bit. You know, when she's like, there's a different side. I'm getting like, this is the other side. I'm getting like a very sultry, confident vibe coming off of her. Sultry, huh? I'm Going into shh, don't say. It. Mm -hmm. We got Persis pumped up for a date with this song recently. Yeah, we did. We really did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A COVID date. Yeah, yeah, guys. Just listen to clarify. Me. I'm not being crazy over crazy. here. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, she's talking again. <gasps> I have a theory. The last one was the devil on her shoulder, and this one is the angel. It's my thesis. Wait, what? I'm just like her hanging out with the statue is, is <laughs> like hitting me. Some kind of way. Are you jealous? I'm super jealous of the statue. The funny thing is, guys, fun fact, I was supposed to be in this video, but mm. I had another commitment. Mm. So they- I hate when that happens. I felt like such a burden, but last minute they had to get a statue in. Yeah, I mean, that's the adequate replacement for you. They just so. couldn't find someone who was me. Well, they wanted someone who had no personality. <laughs> Stand Who still. was pretty, yeah, pretty uh, cold as stone, I would say. Oh. Ooh. I like the editing between the still photos and then the yes, motion. Yes, I really good, like that. It's a good variety. Do you like the, ooh, her curly hair just gets me. You tend to like curly better. 
if anyone wants to know. Try to find a date on YouTube. I love her jewelry. Confident, in control. This is a different Fletcher. Then, then what? You ruined New York City for me, Fletcher. Oh, okay. I don't know that Fletcher. <laughs> I'm in the video. I want to be in the video. Oh! I like that crotch grab. Yeah, this whole thing? Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Okay, Fletcher. <laughs> Are you insinuating something? Fletcher's brand is like being the emotional, sad girl who just gets out of a relationship. Yeah. It's like simping. Yeah. But. She is not simping. That's true. In these videos. That's true. Whereas in her past songs, like all, it's all love, emotional. Like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And she hasn't sat on a toilet sad once. <laughs> Sorry, my mom is so cute. We love her mom. If you haven't met her mom, you can watch Princess's video with her mom where she talks about queer slang and her mom tries to guess what all the slang means. Yes. And it is awesome and you will love it. I'll put the link in my description. Oh yeah, this one. I like this outfit. Me too. As usual. When do I not like one of her outfits? I like what's happening with the bottoms. It's kind of Maddie from Euphoria, if you guys know what I'm saying. Yeah. Typical. I wonder if there's any symbolism behind... The water? Well, like, water... If you're underwater, it's silent, right? True. True. That's why I invited Sarah. Well, you think she broke up with Shannon. I think so. What do you guys think? Oh. Oh. If Fletcher came and was like, I want to film a video with you, I would be out. Out. <laughs> the moment of truth. Oh God. Oh my god. Whoa. Come on, get it. Oh, can I pre-play this moment of Sarah? Get it, get it, get it, get it. <gasps> Fletcher, we have the same glasses. Oh, cute. Uh-uh, this is... How did they got all this footage? Oh, look, this must have been over the years. Oh, okay, yeah. I like this video the best so far. It's very, like, vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Of course. Wasted youth clips. Oh. Now we're breaking up. Don't say it like that. You're right, we broke up the whole time. Right. Right. The quarantine's ending. Goodbye forever. Goodbye forever? That was dramatic. That was drama. And when Shannon kind of said like, okay, when they were talking, like we were broken up the whole time, I could just like sense the like... Frustration, sadness. Actually, let me double check, did Shannon edit this video? Whoa, that was crazy. Produced by Fletcher, shot and directed by Shannon Beveridge. Creative direction and editing by Tess. Tess. That was like very emotional actually, and I'm not really even invested in these people. I think the two of them took that this as an opportunity to be like, why don't we make something very like beautiful out of it and show people what actually happened. Let's show them 
th- these sides of our relationships, mm. what Fletcher was going through. That helps with her music. I like I know that. With music comes a lot of vulnerability, and that helps her a lot too. For Shannon, I feel like it was a really big creative opportunity for her to be shooting and directing. And yeah, editing. yeah, because I feel like a lot of times when this happens with like public people, it's one person who has the voice. Like for example, in this situation, it would be Fletcher who has like the voice in the scenario because she's writing the music and she's singing about it and she's in the videos and blah blah blah. But Shannon got like an equal voice here because she had all the say over how they were directed, how they were filmed. She's in the videos and she got to say like what she wanted in there, what she didn't. So it was like a totally collaborative process. Yeah, between two Pretty exes. cool. It's actually very cool. Very, very cool. And I think it's cool that a relationship between two women is just like represented in this way. Breaking up and what that means for them and why and how it's just like any other relationship out there and there's no difference and it doesn't have to be fetishized. Um, yep. I think that's cool. Like it's documenting something that I personally haven't seen before. Same. I haven't seen anything like that before. Yeah. Ever. But you will always see like videos, movies, songs that are about a man and a woman breaking up. Yeah. It's like the most common thing that people write songs about. Yeah, heartbreak. That is the most common thing. And think about how many people in the community can see this. I like how they showed Wasted Youth clips because it kind of shows the journey of that. Like, this is where we started. This is so That's sad. That's crazy. But this is where we ended. Yeah. Fletcher, <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10, 10. Love it. I love her. <laughs> Um, also, let's don't forget about Am Sarah straight? straight. Guys, thank you so much for watching Sarah and I reacting to new Fletcher. I'm excited to see what her future music is going to sound like. I feel like she has a really bright future. Me too. And thank you for teaching me. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. I will check back in with you guys later. Have a good night wherever you are in the world. Oh.